Thank you so much, John, for coming to Powered by Snowflake. I'm very excited to learn about data.world. It is an absolute pleasure to be here, Felipe. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Yes, I'm excited to see the demo that you have prepared and to learn how data.world is powered by Snowflake. Now, we start in data.world with the idea of search, right? Now, if you have a great data catalog platform, it needs to be able to help you find that data quickly. I'm going to limit this search to a demo organization, but you can see here so many of our customers use this to represent different domains, different organizations across their enterprises. I'm going to limit this search here to our demo organization in a tech where you know, our semantic and knowledge graph based search running against Snowflake is able to come up with this business concept that has been documented in a collaborative and inclusive way by all these folks working together, collaborating to explain what this means. Of course, people can use this to find related items. And obviously, since we're talking about Snowflake today and how we're integrated to Snowflake, let's take a look at a table that is used to define orders that happens to live in Snowflake. Here you have all the technical information of how that table is built, but you're also able to add tags and additional information to build up trust in this particular data asset. One of the most important ways we build trust in this asset and help out folks like data engineers is through our federated lineage capability that goes cross system and helps you determine, you know, what are the upstream resources, in this case, a transactional database that has been ETL'd into Snowflake and all the downstream consumers of this particular data asset as well, and even exposes how this is built. For example, the DBT model that built this particular asset. And then we go all the way down to the column level as well, so you can see what particular fields got used to, say, drive a particular Tableau dashboard from inception through Snowflake to consumption all the way down. Now, this lineage facility that we have is built on top of our knowledge graph architecture and it enables lots of advanced use cases, particularly for Snowflake users, and can provide lineage for more than just technical assets as well. In this case, it is also cataloging roles, policies, and people, so you can see exactly how I, my particular user, might get access and be assigned access to an asset all the way down in Snowflake. This flexibility extends even to you know, Snowpark objects as well, being able to catalog and track and build trust in you know, Snowpark functions, you know, draw that lineage all the way through and build up that trust and enable people to collaborate around these items, to discover them, to use them more deeply. One of the best ways we're built on top of Snowflake though, and I think one of the things that's most impressive is all of this information, and we have over 2 million users of data.world who are using this, basically generating data about how they're using data. That stream of events as people interact with your data, we log all of that and provide that back to our customers as well. This is all generated and available through Snowflake and also available as Snowflake shares and Snowflake private, uh, private listings so that our customers can do advanced analytics on top of how that data is getting used inside their environments by doing things like in this example here, running a query, which is running against our Snowflake instance, that can tell you how many people decided to make a suggested change to actually this item uh, that we were originally browsing and collaborating on. So, you know, this can be used by builders to then drive further downstream workflows and compliance and audit use cases as well, giving enterprises complete visibility into what's going on in their data analytics ecosystem and being able to, you know, allocate precious time and energy to the assets that are getting most used and providing most value to their organizations. Cool. So building trust in data by showing what the data is, how it's being transformed, who has access to it, and collaborating on annotating it. Right, and then providing all that data back as data to the data teams that need it through, through Snowflake, of course. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for having us on Powered by Snowflake, Felipe. It's been great to demo Data.World's data catalog platform to all your viewers, showing them how we help increase trust and understanding in their data analytics practice across their enterprises. Thank you so much, John, for sharing with us. And for anyone that needs to trust their data and understand their data, 
watchable conversation and demo available on YouTube now.